Here in Arizona, a surprising group now coming together to oppose the bill. State Republican lawmakers joined business and health care leaders today. They held a joint press conference over at Phoenix Children's Hospital warning that cuts to Medicaid would devastate Arizona. We are looking at an impact to the state over the next 10 years, upwards of $7 billion, and that is detrimental to the state of Arizona. In Arizona, 636,000 children rely on Medicaid for health care coverage. That's more than 50% of our state's children. Now, our political editor, Dennis Welch, back from that news conference. He's here live in our studio. Dennis, you hear those numbers, right? And it's not just senior citizens who would be impacted by these Medicaid cuts. Yeah, I think that's the whole point of this uh, press conference here today because you know, they're trying to change the conversation because up until now, this whole debate over this health care bill here in Arizona has really been focused on potentially 400,000 Arizonans losing coverage. And when you think about that, most people think about the working poor or low income families that are really reliant about this. But as you heard right there, over 600,000 kids here in Arizona rely on this health care program for their coverage. Now, the vice president of uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital, who you just heard there, he went on to say that basically that's one in two children here in this state. And he also went on to say that nearly 60 percent of the kids that are treated over at PCH rely on Medicaid for their coverage needs. And if you're somebody looking to end to kill this debate, to kill this bill using the kids, it's a pretty powerful argument. Scene. So one out of two. That's what he is saying. One out of two. All right. Since the start of this health care debate, Arizona always singled out by both supporters and op opponents of repealing Obamacare. Why is that? Well, Why are we in the middle of this debate. Well, first of all, if you remember back summer, I know it's, it seems like 10 years ago, but last yeah. summer during the campaign, I mean, Donald Trump put Arizona right in the middle of this when he was talking about Arizona and one specific plan that uh, you saw premiums increase by over 100%. Well, obviously, that's a big deal and has a big concern for people that are on that plan. But Arizona, very reliant on Medicaid at this point because you're talking about 1.7 million people here in Arizona relying on, on that for coverage. And right. uh, that's out of 6 million people. A whole lot of folks here uh, really rely on that. And there's also the economic argument that you heard Heather Carter to talk about $7.1 billion potentially lost if this bill passes over the next 10 years. That's a big hit to the economy. Okay, last question. I'm looking at my computer because we keep scanning social media. Yeah. Where do our senators, where are they right now? We're talking McCain and Flake. Well, that is the million dollar question. And right now, we don't know where they're at. Now, Mr. McCain just put out a statement a short time ago. He was highly critical of this bill. Yeah. He said it didn't uh, include some of the provisions that he'd been lobbying for, but he didn't say whether he was going to vote for it or not. And Mr. Flake himself says he's still studying the bill, still waiting for that CBO report and I'll guarantee you this look for that CBO report next week if it is worse um, uh, not good news that is a death nail for this bill all right our political editor Dennis Welch we're going to stay on top of this thanks Dennis a